everyone welcome back here in this new video today we are going to learn how to auto highlight the active cell in microsoft excel as you see here in the screen when i click on different cells the selected cell or the active cell is getting automatically highlighted this we will do by using the conditional formatting and visual basic for application so here let me close this file and open a new one where there is no any highlighting used so here i'll open this file and here you see there is no any auto highlighting right now now let's start with the process of doing this first of all you need to select your whole data where you want this automatic highlighting to appear after selecting the data click on home tab then conditional formatting new rule then use a formula to determine which cell to format now here in the formula bar we have to write this formula press equal to then type the address function open bracket then combine the row function r o w open bracket then here in the reference of the row function type the first cell reference of the starting of the data that is a3 so here type a3 close bracket then give a comma again combine the column function here open bracket then again type the first cell of the data that is a3 so here type a3 close bracket close one more bracket for the address function then press equal to then click on a blank cell outside the data here i am clicking on this k1 cell for example you can click on any other cell but make sure the cell you are selecting here is blank now click on the format button then click on fill tab choose the color that you want for highlighting then click ok again click ok now click on the developer tab visual basic now here select the seat where you are going to do this here my seat is the seat one data source double click on this then here in this drop down choose oak seat this will select this selection change here automatically then here we have to write this code range then open bracket double quotation then type the blank cell address that you used in the conditional formatting which was the k1 cell then double quotation again close bracket is equal to then type active cell dot address now after writing this code here simply close the visual basic for application window now when you click on the cell here you see the active cell gets automatically highlighted and if you want to save this file and use it in future you have to save this file as a macro enabled file for this click on the file tab click on save as then here in the save as type or the file type choose this excel macro enabled workbook then choose the location where you want to save the file then click on the save button after you do this you will see a macro enabled file which will have the automatic highlighting feature enabled so this is the way of automatically highlighting the active cell in microsoft excel data and uh, this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial